understanding what part grass weeds and cereal regrowth play in the survival and spread of Russian wheat aphid is pivotal to managing this economically important crop pest. There they are. First identified in South Australia in 2016, Russian wheat aphid is now also found in Tasmania, Victoria and New South Wales. So to better understand the economic impact of the Russian wheat aphid and the role of Green Bridge in its continued spread, a new GRDC research investment will help to find answers. The big questions are, how does the risk of this pest change in different, in different areas, in different states? Um, what sort of economic thresholds you might be able to use to manage the pest? And how does this pest survive over the summer? Um, and what does the risk look like for emerging crops in the following season? Dr. Alia Pertle from Melbourne-based Sustainable Agriculture Research Facility, CESA, is looking for answers in the Green Bridge. Data from this surveillance work will be combined with findings from research partner, the South Australian Research and Development Institute. Sadi is working on the economic threshold of Russian wheat aphid and the yield loss caused. Pyramid Hill in Victoria is one of more than a hundred surveillance sites giving up valuable information on the aphids' habits. That's a big part of, of our project is finding the aphids first and then identifying what they've been feeding on um, and trying to pick out what the most favoured um, weed hosts seem to be. Samples are taken from paddocks and their boundaries, along fence lines and roadsides. Everything is recorded grass and weed species, whether there are irrigated crops nearby, site topography, what growth stage are the aphids at, are there parasitoid wasps and beneficial insects in the sample. And the other day I was, I was at um, an irrigated site where there was quite a lot of healthy looking barley grass and it was really swarming with Russian weed aphids, but it was also swarming with beneficials. There was more ladybug larvae than I've seen in one spot and um, they were really going to town on the aphids. Um, so it's great to see that, you know, those sites where you are getting a lot of aphids, you're still getting a lot of beneficials as well. Back at Caesar's Melbourne office, a risk forecasting tool will interpret the field data to help growers and their advisors plan aphid management strategies at the start of the season. So we think that, that by making interactive risk maps um, using real-time data that predict into the next season, that is one way that you can leverage that, that knowledge about Greenbridge um, into useful tools that will help forecast risk into the next season. While this is only a mock-up version of the tool, when fully developed, it will allow the user to get a detailed assessment of risk every season. So we can see here the difference between South Australia, uh, Victoria, Tasmania and New South Wales. Uh, but we can also zoom in further to see what the specific risk is for a particular location uh, as well as looking at real data generated by the project on, on absences and presences of Russian wheat aphids that have been detected through, through our field work. What this surveillance is already telling us is that Greenbridge needs to be monitored and growers are encouraged to do their own surveillance. One thing that's quite important if you are wanting to look at your Greenbridge and, and, and the Russian wheat aphid population that might be hiding away in there is not to wait until you see the types of symptoms that you might expect to see in your crop. They might be at smaller numbers there, so you might have to actually go and unfurl some, you know, some grasses around, around the heads. Another tip is to look for signs of beneficial insect activity, including mummified aphid bodies. One specific beneficial for Russian wheat aphid that we do want to record is parasitoid wasps, which will lay eggs inside the aphids and they'll actually they kill the aphid, it forms this little mummy that the wasp comes out of. And in regions where there haven't been reports of Russian wheat aphid, Caesar and Sadi are urging grain growers to let their State Department of Agriculture or Primary Industries know about any new sighting. We also at Caesar we run a pest facts service and we love to hear anyone's reports of Russian wheat aphid. Mm -hmm.